The following is a video presentation on the proper use of the K375R. It's designed to make the operation of your K375R machine easy and efficient. The K375R is designed to clean drains from 2 to 4 inches in diameter, including floor drains, stack lines, and vent pipes up to 50 feet long. Before assembling or operating the K375R, be sure to read the operator's manual. Safety instructions are located in the front of the manual. Read and understand all the safety and operating instructions before operating the K375R. Read all warning labels on the machine. For your convenience, it is divided into the following segments so you can quickly find what you need. Machine inspection, machine setup, operating instructions, reverse operation procedure, maintenance. The following safety procedures should be performed before each use. First, make sure the drain machine is unplugged and the directional switch is set to the off position. Check the foot switch and be sure it is attached to the drain machine. Do not operate the machine without a foot switch. Inspect the power cord, GFCI, and plug for damage. If the plug has been modified, is missing the ground plug, or if the cord is damaged, do not use the drain cleaning machine until the cord has been replaced. Inspect the drain cleaning machine for any broken, missing, misaligned, or binding parts, as well as any other conditions which may affect the safe and normal operation of the machine. If any of these are present, do not use the machine until any problem has been repaired. Clean any oil, grease, or dirt from your equipment prior to use. Inspect the cutting edges of your tools. If necessary, have them sharpened or replaced prior to using the drain cleaning machine. Use tools and accessories that are designed for your drain cleaner and meet the needs of your application. Inspect cables and couplings for wear and damage. Cables should be replaced when they become worn or eroded. Warning. Worn or damaged cables can break, causing serious injury. To prevent serious injury, proper setup of the machine and work area is required. Check work area for adequate lighting, grounded electrical outlet, clear path to the electrical outlet, dry place for the machine and operator. Do not use this machine in standing water or near flammable liquids, vapors, or dust that may ignite. Position the drain cleaning machine within two feet of the sewer inlet. Greater distance can result in cable twisting or kinking. Position the air foot switch pedal for easy operator accessibility. The machine is designed for one person operation. Select and install the proper tool to the end of the cable. Note a good rule of thumb is to use a tool at least one inch smaller than the drain to be cleaned. The style of the tool is determined by the nature of the job and is left up to the operator. A good starting tool is the T107 cutter. The T107 spade cutter is used to open the drain initially and establish flow. The T102 funnel auger is used to break up the remains of stoppages and retrieve large soft objects. The T142 knife blade cutter is used in cleaning pipes of general debris clinging to pipe walls. Please note that the K375R is not designed to cut or clear away root problems. A larger machine and cable is required for roots. Plug the machine into the electrical outlet, making sure to position the power cord along the clear path selected earlier. To check the GFCI, press the test button. The indicator light should click off. To reset, press the reset button and the indicator light should come back on. Do not use the machine if the GFCI does not work properly. Warning. To avoid electric shock and fires, never use an extension cord that is damaged. Extension cords must have three prong plugs that accept the machine plugs. Do not use an adapter. See your operator's manual for further instructions. It is very important to know the approximate length of the drain you are about to run. Overrunning the cable too far into a larger pipe or septic tank can allow the cables to knot up and prevent their return through small lines. When operating the K375R, wear leather gloves provided with the machine. Never wear cloth-type gloves. Always wear eye protection. Warning, be careful when cleaning drains where cleaning compounds have been used. Avoid contact with skin and eyes. Serious burns can result from some drain cleaning compounds. Never mix drain cleaning chemicals together. Chemical reactions or splashing of solvents can cause serious injury or damage your cable. Call a professional drain cleaner if you suspect chemicals are in the drain. Always assume the correct operating position in order to maintain proper balance. Be sure you can quickly remove your foot from the foot switch. Your hands must be on the cable to control any possible twisting action when the cable hits an obstruction. Keep hands away from the rotating drum. Do not reach into the drum unless the machine is unplugged. With the machine in the off position, manually pull a sufficient length of cable out of the drum to start the tool and cable into the drain as far as it will go. Move the forward off reverse switch into the forward position. Grasp the cable with two gloved hands and pull approximately one foot of additional cable out of the machine, forming a slight loop of cable between the machine and the inlet. Warning, 
Before starting the machine, both operators' gloved hands must be on the cable. While depressing the foot switch to start the machine, use both gloved hands to grasp and push the cable into the inlet. Rotating cable will slowly work its way into the line as you apply downward pressure with gloved hands on the cable loop. Continue to slowly feed the cable into the line a few inches at a time until resistance or an obstruction is encountered. When an obstruction is encountered, the cable will become difficult to feed or will have a tendency to twist sideways in your hands. If the cable loads down in the obstruction, pull back on the cable with short, quick jerks to free the cutter. Then, slowly advance the cable back into the obstruction. Repeat this process until the obstruction is clear. Remember, make sure the cutter is rotating at all times and never force the cable. If the motor turns but the drum stops, the torque limiter is slipping because of excessive force. The drum will begin spinning again once the load is released from the cable or the blade has been dislodged from the blockage. Warning. Do not allow tension to build up in the cable. This can happen quickly and without warning. When cleaning a drain, proceed slowly and carefully as you feed the cable into the drain. When a cable or blade gets locked into a blockage, an over-torqued cable can twist up if the cable tension is not released. Twisting cable may cause serious injury or damage your cable. Once the obstruction is cleared, it is recommended that you flush debris from the line with running water. It is also recommended that a continuous flush of water be used to clean the cable and tools as they are retrieved. If your blade becomes lodged in a blockage and you are unable to reduce the tension, remove your foot from the foot pedal and allow the drum to come to a complete stop. Refer to the last section of this program called Reverse Operation to assist in dislodging your tool and cable. To retrieve the cable after the drain is cleaned, release the foot actuator and allow the machine to come to a complete stop. Turn the machine off. Pull one or two feet of cable from the inlet at a time and manually push back into the machine. It may be easier to do this when the drum is not spinning. Continue this procedure until the tool is just inside the inlet. Warning, never retract the tool from the sewer inlet while the cable is rotating. With the machine off, pull the remaining cable and tool from the line and push the cable back into the machine. Use reverse only to free a tool caught in an obstruction. Never operate this machine in reverse for any other purpose. Operating in reverse can damage the cable and cause serious injury. If your tool becomes lodged in a blockage, immediately remove your foot from the foot switch and allow the machine to come to a full and complete stop. Tighten the screw on the nose of the machine so that it firmly captures the cable to avoid kinks occurring inside the drum. Place the machine in reverse. Grasp the cable with gloved hands and pull while tapping the foot switch. When the tool is dislodged, allow the machine to come to a complete stop. Put the machine in forward, loosen the set screw on the nose of the machine, and follow the normal operating procedure.